Hello, I'm Sean with BookSource, the company that created BookSource Classroom. I'll be your guide through a series of videos to help you better understand BookSource Classroom and its many features. So today we're going to talk about just the overview of students and how they are used in BookSource Classroom. So from your dashboard, you're going to see a couple different things, and one of them is going to show you how many students you have in your classroom. You can also see how many students have books in your classroom. Students have options of leaving reviews in your classroom as well. And up here in the upper right, you can also click this icon to get to the student view. Now, of course, you're probably aware that whenever you log into BookSource Classroom, the first thing it asks you is, are you a teacher or are you a student? If you were to click on student, it would take you to the same place that this icon does here. Whenever you go back to the teacher area, it will re-ask for your teacher password. That way, students can't easily go back over to the admin section and access your settings without you knowing it. So from the dashboard, let's click on students over here. So student area is pretty simple. You're going to have a list of students, and we're going to have the first name and the last initial, what group they belong to, how many books are checked out, how many are overdue, and how many they've read. Adding a student is very simple. You can either import them from Excel or export from Excel. Um, you can, and that's especially helpful, by the way, if you're coming from another system, or you can just click Add. So let me add myself in here. Sean P., I'm going to say that I want to be in group. C, and I'm not going to assign a password or a school assigned ID. Um, the school assigned ID, it shows up in the student area, but most people don't use it. Passwords are only used for higher grades where you wonder if, or you're concerned that other students might try to access um, yet another student's profile and mess with some of the results. So we're going to go ahead and create that student, and there we go, I show up. It's easy to search for students. As you type, it automatically will narrow the list down. It's easy to edit students. I can click here and edit Billy W. It looks just the same as whenever I added them. Now, an important thing to understand is this username. The username is automatically generated whenever you add in a first name or a last name, or a last initial, I should say. Now, this is not the only area where you can make different edits. You can also go to edit groups. You can have as many groups as you want. This is especially helpful if you're in one classroom and you have many different groups of students that are coming through. You can add those groups and you can assign students to groups. Let's click on one of these students and see exactly what it looks like on student details. So you can see the first thing is going to be this progress report. Now this progress report is what you can use to determine the effectiveness of the students reading over time. You can choose guided reading, Luxile, AR. We'll have another video that goes into this in more detail. But you can change the time ranges and you can see exactly how many books they read at each given level. This is extremely useful for parent-teacher reports. We also have recommended books for the student. So using book source subjects of, or of the books that the student has read in the past, we can actually predict what they're going to like in the future. So these top picks, these are books that the student has not read that we think would be really great for that student to read. Same thing for all of these top recommendations. If a student brings a book to you and says they love it and they want to know what else to read, this is perfect. You can easily take them to recommended books and you can pick out the next book for them. You can also see all the books that the student has checked out. You can see all the reviews that the student has left. You can delete them or unapprove them or approve them. And you can see the complete reading history of this student, including uh, sorting by checkout length. That might be helpful in seeing that this student had this for 23 days, but the rest of these he seemed to read in no time at all. And lastly, there's a profile for the student. That's where you can actually go and edit that same information that we showed you how to edit from the original screen. All in all, these are all the different student areas that are in the, uh, the teacher admin area. And so if you want to learn more about actually managing the students or what these different charts are, we're going to have videos about all those as well. I, just, I would recommend that you stick with this playlist and see the rest of those. So thank you for taking the time to learn more about BookSource Classroom, and be sure to check out those other helpful videos that are in this channel.